Hi brothers and sisters in Christ, let us dive into the Word. Today's Gospel reading is taken from the Gospel of Luke chapter 4, verses 38 to 44. And I really believe that this particular passage can speak deeply into our current life situations. Firstly, let us reflect that perhaps you and I, we are facing challenges. Challenges that seem overwhelming. And the case of this particular gospel passage is of Simon and his mother-in-law who is having this high fever. And when we face such difficult health situations or even difficult relationships or a period of uncertainty in our personal or professional life, the important truth here is, dear brothers and sisters, is to allow Jesus to enter into that situation. Because as we see in the particular passage, Jesus enters into Simon's home. A very important point, I believe, for our reflection. For him to enter, Simon has to allow for Jesus to enter in. Because the truth is that Jesus so desires to enter into our homes, right? Our lives and our circumstances to bring healing and restoration. And we al- and when we allow Him to do so, He will bring that restoration. Secondly, you know, when we, are, when we allow Jesus to enter in, and we experience that healing and that breakthrough. Important point, I believe, is that just like Simon's um, mother-in-law, her response was to immediately give thanks and subsequently to serve. Immediately to give thanks and subsequently to serve. Her act of serving right after being healed, signifies this immense gratitude of a life transformed by grace, ready to give back. And really this calls us to reflect on our own lives, of how we have allowed God to enter and God has bring healing and restoration, how God has intervened into our lives, into our circumstances and challenges. And for us to reflect on the response prior, no, um, post that, are we quick to serve and to share that grace that we have freely received from the Lord to those around us? And so my dear brothers and sisters, as we reflect, let us reflect on these two particular points for this passage. One, allowing Jesus to enter into our situations, into our homes, and number two, upon receiving that healing to express our gratitude to Him and subsequently to serve Him. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we come before You with hearts full of gratitude, reflecting on this particular passage where Jesus, Your Son, brought healing to Simon Peter's mother-in-law. And just as Jesus entered her home and rebuked the fever, we invite You Jesus, into our lives today, into every corner of our hearts where we may be experiencing pain and sickness or any form of struggle or challenge. Lord, we ask you to bring healing and restoration in our lives, whether it be physical ailments, emotional burdens or spiritual dryness, we trust in your power to restore us fully and completely. And as we experience your healing and Your renewal, O Lord God, help us to rise above with new strength and purpose. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.